A&A Masonry, an award-winning company servicing the greater Toronto area and the Golden Horseshoe. Most people out there think concrete is concrete and that all concrete is the same. But did you know that to have a great concrete job that is going to last a long, long time requires very exact and detailed work, as well as the proper time to put into it to make sure it does last? Here is Dave on an underpinning job who is going to describe for you some of the details as to why the concrete failed. What initially tipped us off, like that there was an issue with this wall, was that when we dug down below grade, there was a, a bunch of horizontal cracks, micro cracks into the concrete. And what it inferred, like looking from the inside, was that the wall, like the, the concrete was starting to roll to the outside. And, and so you had all these lateral cracks in the concrete, really fine cracking, but the concrete was re really poor quality. And you can tell from the inside because it had very low compressive strength. When you hit it with a hammer, it would, it would turn to powder. The cause of the bad concrete is, uh, is that it, they allowed it to freeze like uh, before it had it set. And so what ends up happening when it freezes before it sets, that, uh, that uh, the, the water in the, in the concrete goes crystal, and, but the cement itself, the, the, the component, like the, the, the binding agent of the, in the concrete, that uh, continues on the curing process, even though it's below zero. And so and then when the, 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 the ice crystals melt away, you're left with highly porous concrete, that it has a huge capacity to absorb water then as a result. And, and so then where it's been exposed to weather, like above grade, even below grade, where it has the capacity to freeze and thaw, that it just ends up spalling as a result. The water that infiltrates the concrete and fills all those void spaces ends up when it freezes, it dilates, and, and then it causes the concrete to spall. And, uh, and then it also gives it a big capacity to leach the, the calcite out of the, the, the lime, the, the limestone cement binder, right? Uh, and, and it's much more pronounced near the surface, uh, where it's more subject to weather. The, the curing of concrete is exothermic, meaning that it generates its own heat. Like, uh, so that where it was deep inside the form, in the core of the form, that it never froze. And, and it was where it was near the surface of the form, it had the opportunity to freeze then, because there wasn't enough heat generated from the core, like the, it was radiating too quickly. So the top edge of the wall, like uh, it's it more so pronounced where it's not heated uh, around the perimeter of the garage. It's not so pronounced around the house, even though it was subject to the same clim climatic conditions when it was formed, that, uh, that you have constant radiant heat coming from the house. And then also that uh, the people are much more mindful in make, making sure that you have a, a decent grade away from the house so it's subject to less water. It's under a bigger overhang. There's a lot of factors that play into the fact that, that the concrete around the perimeter of the house it hasn't, hasn't spalled as bad as the one around the garage. There are many ways to cut corners with concrete. The reasons for this can sometimes boil down to contractors attempting to do the job for a cheaper price as well as mistakes on the job. Unfortunately, the problems down the road can be quite problematic and put your home at risk. You want to make sure that any concrete work done on your home is done right and built to last a long, long time. So put your trust in a and Masonry. Let us look after your concrete needs and put your mind to rest that your home is in the safest hands possible. To schedule your next project, contact a and Masonry today.